So the physical LR freezer and Android 17 from the 6 year anniversary was a very very disappointing release and it offers nothing to your teams. But first it is time for the subscriber challenge. Now I want you guys to eat the big heads or tails. If you win then you win but if you lose then you lose and if you lose you have to subscribe because that is the challenge to pick right now. 3, 2, 1, go. What's it going to be? It's going to be tails. So if you pick heads then you lose and if you lose you have to subscribe because that is the challenge. The main thing that ruined this unit was the fact that he only builds up damage reduction per attack performed and he only keeps that damage reduction for that one turn. The main thing that I think that a lot of us can agree on that ruined this unit is that he builds up damage reduction per attack performed and then he loses that built up damage reduction on the next turn. What it should have been is that okay fair enough we'll agree build it up per attack by all means but once you build it up don't lose it on the next turn allow the unit to keep whatever damage reduction he builds up and furthermore allow him to build it up up to at least 30 to 40 percent come on that is a bare minimum let him build it up to that and at that point he would be a lot better because this whole thing about building up damage reduction within one turn and only keeping it in that one turn is an awful ability it's pretty much as bad as chance to guard in my opinion like it's right up there as a really bad ability and the units that have these abilities do not age well and most of them are not even good on release and the reason i say most of them is because evolution blue vegeta was good on release but he aged pretty badly and the only reason for that is because of that thing that i mentioned but he only keeps the damage reduction for that turn whereas once you build it up he should keep it, especially because he's an anniversary unit. And the funny thing is both of these guys came out in the same anniversary, in the 6 year anniversary, and they both have the same issue. But one unit that is pretty much exactly the same as this guy, they have the exact same problem, is the Tapion and Monosha. They have the exact same problem in that they build attack in the exact same way per attack performed, but they only keep it for that one turn, which is an awful ability, it really is. Honestly, I would get rid of that crit chance, completely get rid of that and make this damage reduction a lot better. And at that point, he's a much better unit because the way it is, he aged horribly. And not only did he age horribly, he wasn't even that good on release and that is the fact of the matter. I mean, he was an anniversary LR and he was pretty much mid on release. Truly an L of a release and truly offers nothing to the team. The only good thing about this unit is the active skill. But the thing with the active skill is that it has awful conditions. You have to super attack four or more times which is just really bad because this is the kind of unit that you would really only use in SPR. Let's be honest because he's not building up for a long event. It's only for SPR and in SPR you will never see this pretty much. It is truly an awful condition because the active skill in itself is decent. It's very much decent. It gives him key, it gives him defense and it gives him guaranteed crits for the turn. Like it's a pretty good active skill but you'll never see it when you want to see it. And even if you get it off like it's only a one turn thing and to be fair most active skills are only one turn but this active skill not only do you never see it when you do see it it's only one turn and on top of that it's the only good part of the kit and the fact that you only have it for one turn is not impressive and plus he's got a bad links but when it comes to the links if the unit was actually good i'd be fine with the links because the reality is on release these two would have been a good rotation because they share four links and they share five key because they share tournament of power and they share shocking speed and in total that would give them five key and on top of that they both give themselves key so this would have been a very powerful rotation put the ui goku in slot one put this guy in slot two and that would have been a sick rotation but this guy was simply not good enough and on top of that they could not even be bothered to give him defense on super attack he should get a hundred percent defense on ultra super and at least greatly raise on 12 key super and at that point he's a lot better and furthermore this guy struggles with key and the issue with that is he only lowers enemies attack on ultra super and the issue with that is you're never gonna see it even in SPR. What it should be is that he should lower attack and defense on the 12 key and that would be a better ability to have. Obviously that in itself is not enough to make him good but it certainly is a start. If there was a competition in terms of the fastest aging units in Dokkan this unit would not be in that competition because he didn't age fast. He was never good to begin with. With that said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then do like the video and do comment. 
and also do subscribe especially if you fail the challenge because that is the challenge with the aside thanks for watching and i will see you guys next time